How's it going everybody? Welcome back again into my single player survival world and of course we are starting things off in our base and today's a bit of a weird episode because we don't ever start in our base but that's not the really weird reason for it. There are two weird cool things. The first thing is I wanted to change it up a bit just because I feel like a lot of the time when we're playing through the whole game sometimes I want to just switch it up and I'm sure you guys do it with texture packs or shaders or whatnot and today we are playing with the better leaves pack because I do like it although it's not completely vanilla like it, it doesn't give that same vanilla feel it just looks so good. Look how much better this base looks. It's just these, these little things make a big difference. I love it. But besides that, we've got some other big things. Where is the sun? It is in a good spot. The other one is we are going to do something that is kind of different. And it's one of those ideas, because this is the whole idea for the episode. It's one of those ideas that either will go down really cool and everyone's going to say, well, I didn't think about that. That's really awesome. Or alternatively, people are going to say, it's pretty cool, but yeah, whatever. But I think we're going to do the really awesome one, and that's what I've got planned for today. And the really awesome one has to start by us fixing up this wall, and of course getting the really awesome thing in there. And to do that, I think what I will do is I will plan out a little bit of wall spaces here. So that will be me getting rid of this junk, getting rid of this junk, and flattening it up, because of course, uh, you, you know what goes on with the wall. Bam, we have cleaned up the wall, and it is now looking... Nice and smooth. I'm busy putting in some supports here because we're going to put this flat wall. It's going to be pretty darn flat to begin with and we'll work it out. Can I get yeah, into the water? We're going to work it out once we're there, but I'm going five blocks, five blocks and five blocks. Now, I think that actually works out pretty perfectly from where I started it, but we'll see how we go. And I've got a few ideas with this and the main idea is this wall isn't just going to be a basic sort of wall that you just see against something like this. We actually discussed it last episode and this idea is something that I think is, as I say, one of those things when people do something and you're like, hey, that's a neat little detail. You know those sorts of things? I hope this is going to be one of those. I feel like it could very well be one of those things where someone says, hmm, that was pretty cool. I like that idea. It really fixed up the area quite nicely. Made it a little bit more intriguing. You know, the little intriguing things that are adding up. So can I end a pearl out of here, please? Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to start with as our wall. And what I want to do here is I want to get a little bit of a bulge out at the top here so that what we will be doing is hiding the transition from there to there with the leaves. We'll go over here and if we can push this out a bit, we could hang some leaves over it. And then what that would mean is that we've got a nice little transition over there from the farm area to here. And really, when you're in here, you won't even know that that exists. And when you're over there, you wouldn't even know that this exists only 20 blocks away. It's one of those cool little tricks we'll get into. Uh, but that's my idea with that. So it leaves hanging over, but this needs to push out a bit more. And that's why I've got this stuff here. And I probably should have brought some stairs. So we'll get some stairs before we get into this. Now, the other thing that I was thinking about, which is right around... Bam, right there. The other thing is we need to get this corner here to look good. And what we discussed in the last episode was perhaps a little lighthouse or a watchtower. And I'm kind of liking the lighthouse idea because there's nothing really going on on this coastline. Having a lighthouse over here and you see nothing after it, I think that could look pretty good. And also it will break up the corner and make this transition from here to there. So I was thinking recently about what we are going to be doing after the dock area and I was really debating whether or not this is a good idea, and it may very well end up being a pretty good idea, I think, for the series as a whole. And that is to go on to the middle of the city and start building our castle. I'm not too sure if it's a silly idea, so I have to kind of think it out a little bit because this is quite a, it's quite a big project. And I haven't quite got it planned out yet in my brain, so we'll see how it turns out. But I can't believe something that is pretty nuts. This entire time that I've played Minecraft for... Oh, I don't even know how long, very long time that I have played. I have not once made a proper castle besides the first time I ever did, which I am guarantee you I wasn't the only one grabbing a bunch of cobblestone and just pushing blocks together. That was the only time I could say I made a, ca a castle, but I don't think it really counts. But for now, I think we can maybe go on to fulfill my dream of starting the castle. And I've actually been thinking about it. I peeled it up a bit earlier to have a look at it. There is a very cool place that we can see between here and the forest. If you know the pirate forest, there's a good part where we would be able to put that castle. We could see it from here sticking up. We'd see it from the pirate area just sticking up above the trees. 
it's just got so many good things for it, just for the view. And not only that, it's, as I say, one of the things that I've been thinking about for ages and just never actually done. Let's get a good view from that there. Let's turn around. Yeah, that's good. So you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these leaves, hang them off the side, hang them off over there once we've, of course, got them. But this little piece here just means that it's got a nice rim to it. So often you can find yourself just making something flat. And I think this could be something to fix up the flatness. Can we do that? Actually, that might not be a bad idea full block there, but I'll do those for now. Let's just check. Yeah, it means that if we go flat with this wall, it won't be too bad just because of that lip there. And then what we'll do with the lip is we'll just hang the leaves. Yeah, totally a good idea. I can see it coming in front of us right now. It's definitely going to work very well. So let's get into this wall with a few little changes to make it a lot more interesting than what it is right now. And I've thought about this. This is what I do actually in between episodes. I start planning out at least what I hope the next build will look like in my head. And then we end up doing something completely different. But I think this could work here. And I know that because I, I've done this a few times <laughs> in a few different places. You'll see it actually. Look at this here. That little design there. It might not be exactly the same, but there's like a concept that I keep going to. And I can't help myself. It just happens all the time. You pick up a pattern and you just can't get it out of your head. And it just works for a lot of things. I guess it's kind of like reinventing the wheel if I changed it all the time. So using the same sort of thing, I guess, is efficient. But let's have a look at this. I think if we put the green, this is the one thing that might actually ruin this, the green. But let's just check it out like that and that. And oh, forgot a corner in there. No. Oh, man, I'm so bad at this. There we go. All right, we got everything. Let's take a jump back. Yeah, that is good. You see this little bit of color breaking in here, I think is going to make this a little bit more interesting because the browns, the grays, the, all that stuff, it's not too good all the time. That's very good. Now, the next thing is, of course, we just need to get a bit of this in for now. And when we go through and do our full on texturing big episode, we'll probably do like a whole episode on texturing, really. We, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, it'll be, I guess, maybe a few other things, not just <laughs> not just texturing gray stuff, but I think a few little things being textured in could actually look quite good. There they are. I've changed up a few little things on the wall, but I've improved it overall, broken up the grays, and done a whole bunch of little things. And we can go into our post-match analysis. You know, I feel like one of those, those sports people, what I'm about to do, where I'm going to say, what is happening here? Because there's a few little things, which maybe could be a good takeaway. So first thing is... I've broken up the walls with the spruce on either side. Two reasons. Reason one, the gray was getting horrible. So bam, fix that. Reason number two was because I also felt like the docks are probably more wooden. So I thought I'd put those in there. The other thing is we've got these vertical or sorry, horizontal breaks here to make it look supported, which also breaks up the wall. So we can put a little bit of the cracked stuff down the bottom being cobblestone. And it also just breaks up the wall in general. So there's our post. Well, it's not I didn't really go post match analysis. I could have probably gone a bit more with some of the moves that were done. You know, I could have done some tricks in there, but nah, we just kept it simple, super easy. So what I'm thinking here now is we get into the actual nitty gritty, you know, the meat of this, which is getting the pillars in that are going to hold the ship and open, oh, sorry, not ship, the boat. We're not putting a whole ship in here. I definitely would not build an entire ship in one episode. That'd be absolutely nuts. And uh, we do have one coming up. Maybe, maybe I'll do that in an entire episode. I don't know. Can I also, <laughs> I can hardly get up the, the down mountain. I don't think I'm going to achieve that. All right. So where is, this is going to be a little bit hard. Where is the middle of this wall? I should have really planned this out a little bit better. So if we go out here, that is the center of it. So maybe what we do, let's put these over here like that. One, two, three there like that is what I'm thinking. And we'll just give them some support down the bottom. So maybe we get, I think I did bring some, we get one of these and oh man, this is, this is one of those things I haven't done in forever. I feel like I'm on a sky block where you end up having to take something away, for instance, those just put them out to drop them to put something back. Man, I haven't played a sky block in forever. So let's do something like this. There we go. Uh, there and we can probably get away with the slab in there, but I'll, I'll see how it looks once we're done with this. So the next thing is let's go and cap this off with something there. Might actually be too far. So this is the next part is of course, we just need to cap this off there. And can I do this jump? 
This is, this is a far jump. All right, this is on my edge of my skill. Oh, yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. You would swear I've done this oh, for so long. Okay, there we go. Wrecked one block in the process. So let's check this out. Is this a good width? Yeah. And I think it's high enough because remember, if we're going to be pulling this boat out, if the boat's probably three or four blocks deep, that's going to take up, like, four blocks is that long. Three blocks is still quite long, so we need it to be quite far up so that it could just hang there. That's good. I, I like that. Here is the important question, and that is what type of rope do we use? Do we use rope rope, which is like this stuff here, which I use a lot. The spruce, uh, sorry, the oak, the, just the normal block that we use all the time. Or, of course, the iron bars. Let's check these out. I did use the, the reason I'm using the iron bars is because I did use them in a few places, for instance, up there on there, and I think they worked really well for those. So let's see if they work well for these. Yeah, I think the iron bars are gonna go good because you gotta bear in mind, we're gonna have a wooden ship. Dang it, I keep saying ship, boat in here. And I think we need to just make sure that we don't have too much of this wooden stuff. Also, another thing I'm just looking at, these walls are a little bit ugly, even though I say I did a good job, but I think what we can do is maybe just texture them. Just keep the textures in like this. I think this will improve them a lot. So let's just put in a few here. One in like that, and maybe one, two, switch out because I am smart like that sometimes. There you go, done. Looks way better. Just that little difference like that. Look at them in there. Yeah, way, way better. So let's kick things off on the boat right now. And I've got some idea of how it's gonna be working. Not 100%, but we'll see how it goes from what we do here. So let's just get a little bit of a plan in. And hopefully from this plan, what we'll be able to do, if we can actually place that block there, there we go. We'll hopefully be able to see if what we have got will work in the end. You know, sometimes this idea just doesn't end up working, in which case maybe what we could do is just have something else hanging from here. I'm not too sure what, but we could probably figure something else to be hanging from these. Even maybe just a, a little bit of a scaffolding looking thing as if this wall was being built or something along those lines. We'll, we'll work it out. So the last end of pearl, because I was super smart and brought absolutely no extras, we'll do something there and we will do something over here. One more up there. And I think this should be a good start for us to go take a step back. And from here, what we want to do is we want to see if this little bit of an angle or this little bit of a, a shape like that will work. Hmm. I might just change up the blocks that we are using, even if it's just for while we planning, because Look at this. Can you tell the difference between those? I can't, they look too similar. So I might just go to oak and we'll get an oak plan over here because that makes sense. And you never know, actually oak might even be a better option for the boat in general. There you go, that is much better. I've also done a few little changes, but look at that. Way, way better. Now I don't actually have enough ender pearls to get around at all because I actually have got absolutely zero ender pearls, bar me going to the end for a big old supply trip. I've actually got quite a few things we need to supply on recently that I've been running out of, and ender pearls definitely are them, but I think the next time I go to the end, I really want to make that a trip for hopefully mending or something. I've just been a bit a bit off on uh, getting a whole bunch of the cool things, you know, for instance, you've got the the mending items from a villager trader vill trading villager farm, is that the word? Yeah. Trading villager farm, which I just haven't done because I'll be, be completely honest, I haven't been too interested in making one of those. Again, I've made so many in my time and I think just after a while, you kind of get a little bit bored of them. What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a whole bunch of trial and error on this to try to get a good shape. For instance, going out here, doing something like, oh, no, like that. I think if I can target that, there we go. Something like that and seeing how this stairs look and seeing how slabs look. Because this is all really just trial and error with something as small as this. So I'll be back when I've got something to show. I've done it. I think we've finally got this working, but we've got to just take a few seconds. Look at that. That shape is all right. And I've thought about this because I, I don't like this. I thought the oak might work, but I do think the spruce will work only if, and uh, that is a big if, we look from different angles. And I think a large majority of the time, we're probably not gonna be walking on this dock looking at that specifically. There's so many other things to look at. And when we go from an angle like here, look at this, we really don't just see the spruce. We'd see it against that wall there and a few other things. So I think we'll actually be all right. 
And then I've also got another thought. So I'll, I'll switch it over to Spruce. And my other thought here is we need to put a sail or some uh, some oars that would be coming out of the boat. And I think that a sail is probably the easier one of the two. So if we did oars, I don't know how we would actually do them properly without them looking a little bit weird. But if we do a sail from here, and I've done one already being in the, the first town of ours, which is Spiritwood. Can I just switch that over now? I think it will be that. So the sun's going down real quickly, but here is my idea. We'll put this in here and we will go and make this a boat that does not have sails. I think that's the best way to do it. If we just don't have any sails on the boat, we don't have anything to mess up with, and I do not have any ender pearls to throw off that direction. Let's just check this out before we do the big switch over to some of the spruce. It's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, it definitely, you know what? It definitely conveys, hey, I'm a boat and I'm here to hang around. You know, that's exactly what it conveys. I like it. Also, while we're here, I'm already probably completely <laughs> in danger from mob spawning. But look how good this place looks at night. Really, really good. All right, I'm going to go and sleep and run away and come back so that nothing's around to ruin my day. And I think then I'll switch that all over. Look at that. That is way better now. It's just a pity. You know what? We need another block. Imagine another wood block. Just something else. Just to spruce this up a little bit. I mean, obviously, ignore the spruce pun that's very clearly in there. But just something else would be so good just to add in here. I thought about maybe if we did. In fact, you know what we could do here? Now that I come and look at it. Is maybe if we put something in here, no, I can see exactly why I didn't do it. All right, don't worry, don't mind me. I was just trying something else. One other thing, all right, here, the one other thing, because I couldn't help myself. Let's try this, if we can get that right, in there. Um, yeah, I might, I might switch those others out for that. But yeah, if we just had something else to go in here, the jungle wouldn't have worked very well. Obviously, Acacia is off the list. There's, there's not many other options. Besides the ones that we got. So another another wood would be great. So let's hope for that. 1.15, please. Please do it for us. Alright, the next thing. I'm going to the wrong spot here. This is my next thought. Here what I want to do is do the obvious. And add leaves hanging off the edge here. What I'm thinking is we can do what we did before. Where we did a bit of that and a bit of that. And we can do one side where it's a lot of spruce. Oh, oh, this is spruce, right? Man, it's so confusing because I never use the leaves and say what they are. Just think dark leaves, light leaves, and pretty much <laughs> pretty much all the leaves are almost the same when it comes to oak and jungle and all those sorts of things. But yeah, this, this over here will definitely be good. Where we can have one color on one side like this, and we'll have oak over there. And I think that'll make it look like two big bushes growing over the edge here. So let's get a few more of these in and see if this works. So there is what it looks like. I think I need to give it a little bit of a haircut over here. Maybe just smooth that out there. But that over there really does look like it's just got stuff growing off the edge. And I don't think there's too many questions asked. Say, for instance, here's what I mean by that. Say, for instance, all of a sudden, boop, you drop down in here and you look around. You're like, wow, that looks cool. Don't really think too much of that area there. And that makes it feel like this is its own closed in area. I'm very, very happy with that. This is looking real good. As I say, just that little haircut will do the trick there. While we're around here, I've just put this whole little piece in here so we're ready for another view from down there. But I thought, let's just walk around. I want to check what these leaves look like. The Better Leaves Texture Pack, because I've kind of forgotten that it's on, just because I've gotten used to the leaves looking real good. But look at how different and fluffier my trees look. Of course, if you don't know what I'm referencing with these trees, maybe just look back an episode or two. I think I walked through here reasonably recently, but look at that. It looks real different. It's just a little bit of... I think what it is, it just takes the corners off of these. So if you have a look there, that would be a straight line from that to that. But this little piece that sticks out here just breaks up those corners. Man, that is such a good thing. You, there's, you know, this is one of those things where it's like, do I keep it because it looks really good? Or do I stay faithful to the whole completely vanilla game? It's one of those tough ones. I think I could honestly probably make an exception for these. But for now, I think I'll, I'll stick to vanilla for a little bit longer. But man, because it's not even a texture change, but man, that looks real good. Now let's do the final bits and pieces of this, and that will be just getting this area merged in with the side here so that it doesn't look too silly, because this is what's currently looking quite silly. I actually do not remember 
filling in a, a big void area here back when I did this. I wonder if I even did this manually myself or this was just a little pool hanging up around here. It's kind of funny how you end up forgetting these things because it wasn't that long ago that I was here, but definitely cannot recall any of this. So let me just do this and because, oh, I did bring him. I was going to say because I'm lazy, I'm going to have to fill up that, but no, that works really well. So we do those there and now we should just be able to put a few of these little bits and pieces in and that'll make this whole area just look well blended in and maybe not as as blocky as what the rest of it is looking like. Like, look at that. Just that little change there. And I think we brought something special. These. Bam. Special stuff in there. Looks good. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this to the end. Maybe another one of these in there. And some of those. And we'll finish it off pretty simply. This is what we actually have to do underwater here eventually. We have to go and merge this area in with these eventually, but that's a big job. So yeah, that can maybe be along with that whole idea of texturing everything eventually one day magically, because uh, I hope that it happens magically because I really don't feel like going around and doing all of them again. Yeah, that looks a little bit good. I think that's a bit too much there. So let's get rid of this one and we do, oh, we don't even have to replace that there and we'll switch it out for one of those. How does that look? Yeah, that's good. Now it's just a matter of texturing, but it's just these little rocks that break up the flatness of it. Oh, my inventory is full for that. Yeah, they just break up that flat piece of it. So I think that will work quite well. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. I'm very, very happy with that actually. So I think there we have it. This was actually what I wanted to get done this episode. So let's take one more step back. And yes, that is so much better. I'm very, you know what? I'm very happy with just this little piece here being completely filled in and completely finished off. That is looking so darn good. And I, I think we can give ourselves a pat on the back. I hope this, this does end up being a good little detail because it's not extremely obvious, but it's a thing that exists and I like it. It just exists there and it adds on to the whole atmosphere of this world. So that's, that's fantastic. So for today though, I think we can go ahead and call it a day at there. The next time I want to be putting in a big old tower in here. We'll see how that goes. But of course for today, that will be us. So thank you so much for joining me here today and I'll see you in the next one.